as we travelled because we spent two whole days with Lucy and Isaac camping yeah, sick, in the last really vlog. Good. Yeah, that was awesome. So check last week's vlog out if you haven't already. Um, and it's then most of the time underwater, pretty much like for three days. Like we just uh, explored lots of little rock pools and mini waterfalls and stuff. Yeah. You can check that out in the last video. We were at their house until eight o'clock two nights ago and then we drove all the way down to Adelaide River, camped there and then yesterday we drove all the way down to Mataranka. We spent the day in the hot springs which we've already filmed so you will have seen that in. It will be linked below and now we're going to head inland. So first we've got to head back up to Catherine which is about an hour and then from Catherine we will head west towards Kununurra. Towards the coast now so Stopped at this rest area for some breakfast. One eternity later. So we just stopped at this rest stop. I'm not sure what it's called. It's called, oh yeah, Victoria River Petrol Station. And we are pretty much almost halfway to the border. We're probably gonna camp. And there's the border. So we're probably gonna camp in one of the free spots just before the border. So we have lots of time tomorrow morning. And when we get to Lake Argyle, now we're gonna have some lunch, probably falafel wraps, and the scenery is really nice out here. It's like red dirt all around and like really tall, high mountains. We just drove over a river as well, which was really cool. So yeah, I might get some drone shots soon. We got some fresh watermelon. We've got to use up all our fruit and veg before going to Western Australia. Yes. So we need to cook everything tonight. And we're having some leftovers that we made last night. So this is a rice stir fry with lots of veggies. Still really hot. We can't wait until we get to the west coast and actually have the breeze from the ocean again. We've been smelling a smoking smell all day. We just stopped and there was smoke coming from under the vehicle. So we just opened it and the, the oil lid had come off. So now we're trying to fix it. And I'm really worried because we're out in the middle of nowhere with no signal, but fingers crossed we'll be all right. Flies are everywhere. A few moments later. Fill up the coolant and the oil and it seems to be a bit better now. Just gonna send the drone up and there's cows crossing the road over there. The sun is setting. We're at our campsite, just before the border. There's a few other vans here. We're just about to cook our two remaining meals. There's a lot of flies. The next morning. So we've had to use up all our veggies and fruit. So we had the biggest avocado toast breakfast Feast. ever. And we've got these bananas tea and then we think it's just fresh fruit and vegetables that need eating. Sorry for the aircon noise. And this morning I woke up, first thing I wanted to do was make iced coffee because we finally managed to make ice. And then I was going to get myself a straw. I had the coffees on the bench next to the sink. And of course, one of the coffees fell out and like all into the drawer and all everywhere. So that was my start to my morning, but <laughs> we are- Another redecoration of the van with coffee. That's yeah. number two. Luckily three. we've got the lacquer on it, oh my God. I, yeah, I knew that. that was not I knew that there was going to be some coffee spills, so made it. I did like three layers of food safe. We had two other camper vans here, and they have already gone. Oh, it's already eight sixteen. And last night we cooked. Oh, we cooked up our last two meals um, and used all the veggies. So we made a spaghetti bolognese and a cream and mushroom, mushroom pasta. pasta. Sorry, the car keeps like trying to die. 
Now we're like probably 40 minutes, an hour away from the border, so we're gonna drive there. I'm feeling gross, but so excited. Same. Yeah, let's go. Cheers. We just found out that we're not allowed honey across the border and Tommy's just squirted a whole bunch of honey in his mouth. Well, because usually we're vegan and the one time that we buy honey, it's gonna get wasted. Yeah, that's so really upsetting. Well we're just in front of the border. One eternity later. Well, that was stressful. Yeah, oh my God, that was so stressful, but we made it across the border. We're now in the Western Australia state of Australia. We almost didn't make it through because we didn't have enough evidence to support that we had been in the Northern Territory for at least 16 days. Luckily, as soon as we got to the Northern Territory, we took a, a picture. Can you take a photo of them? Oh, I did. Of the Northern Territory sign, and that was pretty much the only thing to prove that we'd been in the state long enough. And I, I, I had some pictures on the 1st of October, so that was at least 15 days, and they were working it out on the distance between the border and Mataranka for us to have those pictures. And they're like, okay, we that, that is enough evidence. That it was really hard. I had to go through my bank history, all of it. So anyone thinking about sneaking into Western Australia, there's no way. You won't, you, there, you won't be able to. Look how beautiful. I think we're close to Lake Argyle. It's right there. It looks insane. Lake Argar. We're finally in the Lake Argar campground um, that has the pool that overlooks Lake Argar, which it's like really famous on Instagram for. So I can't wait to check that out. And yeah, it's a really nice area. Like there's quite a few camper vans around here. I think it's quite a popular spot. It's hot, but it's like it's a little bit cooler than when we were in Northern Territory, maybe. But there's just such beautiful views here. And yeah, they've got a beer garden. They have like live entertainment but sadly there's no live, live entertainment tonight they have it on tomorrow night instead um, but anyway yeah it's beautiful we found a little camp spot overlooking the mountains and i'm gonna go take a shower because i am so disgusting right now Taking the camera in. You trust me. 10-15 minutes down and you get down to the lake. Oh, thank you. Lovely little Clink. sunset pricey drink, but that's okay. <laughs> We're sitting out here. Yeah, the uh, if you're gonna cross the border from Northern Territory to Western Australia, then probably an idea to go to the bottle shop first because it's really, really expensive. Definitely. $11 for a cruiser, but it's so good and so worth it after $11. that walk. walk, walk after Where? that walk. But the view is amazing. And that's the price you pay. Mm. It's 20 past six. And the but sun isn't set. Time, it's. It must be so much later. Like eight. So that's probably why you're getting tired now. We thought it was going to be no, like... no, 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 no. Wait. The real time is 4.50. What? <laughs> Wait, my mind is blown. So that means the sun sets so, so early. So your, your time is... So my time is our time. The time zone that we're on right now is 20 oh my past God. 6. But the real time is 4.50. Oh no. Because of the time difference. That means that the sun sets really early here. Breakfast with a view. Oh my god. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden. <laughs> 
Hey everyone, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I dyed my hair pink. It's a washout though. But I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching and I'm sorry for the short video. As you guys probably know, if you are following me on Instagram, uh, my hard drive is pretty much broken, I'm pretty sure. I can't get my laptop to recognize it. I've tried putting it in the freezer, tried like the tricks and everything, but it, I think it's, I think it's broken. So I'm gonna try and retrieve um, some of the footage. So I've actually sent it away to Perth, to oh. a place that specializes in getting data back. So hopefully they can get some data back for me and it won't be too, too pricey fingers crossed um but that's why this video is a short one i thought maybe i'd be lucky and maybe i wouldn't lose so much footage but i have qu lost quite a little bit of footage from like carajini x mouth like all the gopro stuff but fingers crossed we'll be able to get it back and if not i do have some backups like on my vlog camera and tommy was filming with his phone so don't worry there will still be videos but i just want to get my main camera video footage the next video that's coming up will be a q a luckily tommy and i filmed Q and A. We also filmed another video on like our top places that we vis visited in Australia and like tips for traveling Australia. So hopefully you guys will be looking forward to those videos. And um, yeah, I'll be back with these lap around Australia vlogs as soon as I can. I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas if you're celebrating, and I hope everyone just has a lovely week if not a weekend and I hope everyone has a good year as well I love you guys all so much yeah this year has been amazing probably like one of the weirdest but one of the best years of my life because I just feel so blessed and lucky to be able to have like accidentally been in Australia and still been able to see so many beautiful places and meet so many lovely people yeah it's just been a really good year for me a lot of like wanting to get more into meditation reading and stuff like that i've been taking like baby steps and definitely being more like self-aware and stuff yeah that's good but next year i want to do even more like i want to actually do it i keep saying that i want to get into meditation but the only way to do it is just to do it and do it and practice and practice because i feel like i've been giving up too quickly when i haven't been seeing results i've been like oh this won't work for me but with that attitude it's never going to work so i think i just need to do it and do it and then eventually it will just click like that oh my god my hair it's not supposed to be this dark i think i left it in for too long but it's gonna wash out after a few shampoos so don't worry guys i'm also wondering if you guys wanted to see a haul because i could definitely film a haul video i've been shopping a little bit too much recently because my new job if you didn't know is at a clothing store this is future me by the way if you didn't get that Okay, well, thank you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Request videos for me down below. If you want to see like a van life morning routine, a van life evening routine, or just like more vlogs and stuff, let me know. I love you all so much. Bye.